all right so hello everyone and welcome to the channel uh, now this is going to be a very important video if you're preparing for gate chemistry and in this particular video i have compiled data from your year 2010 to 2019 and i have tried to assemble these all these topics uh, which are the uh, which covers the major portion of the syllabus for your gate chemistry and i have tried to compile with the marks okay so in this particular video i'm going to explain you that which are the major portion where you have to focus more and from where you can get scoring marks okay so this is just analysis done by me and uh, i have found the sources from internet and from the previous years portions so this has been compiled in this whole video okay so this going this is going to be very helpful uh, if you are if you are preparing for the exam okay now how to analyze all these things is that uh, i have taken data from the last 9 years and I have also taken the average marking of that okay so from this thing from this average marking you can see that on which topics you have to focus more now if I talk about uh, the topics so I have compiled them in a way because uh, I have started from physical chemistry okay so this particular topic atomic structure and quantum chemistry which is the uh, major, which covers the major portion of your uh, of your physical chemistry uh, if you can see that uh, from the past few exams from the last three exams, if you'll see the portion of uh, like the questions which have been asked from this topic has increased okay so earlier they were like four four marks or three marks now they have been asked from seven nine or eight marks okay so you can expect uh, like more questions from this topic then comes your statistical and, ther uh, and thermodynamics so here also you know, like you can get like average of your like you can expect questions from here uh, your six to five to six marks questions from this particular topic equilibria is something uh, from where one question can be asked or not you can expect at least one or two marker question from here kinetics surface and interfaces plus polymer so i have included a lot of topics in this particular column and they all does not uh, give you much marks but yeah if you study all of them uh, you can score up to six to seven marks from here so this is the next and then from electrochemistry itself you can get at least two to three questions from here covering your three to four marks so that's what you can expect from this solid state will again give you one or two questions so again you can score like two to three marks from here the next one is group theory uh, you can always expect a question from here although in 2018 there was no question from group, th group theory in 2017 also there was no question from group theory so it has been uh, avoided for two three years but now uh, it was asked in 2019 so you can expect once again a uh, question from a group theory next comes your coordination chemistry which covers at least 40 percent percent of your syllabus from your inorganic chemistry so up till here we were we have discussed physical chemistry okay now we are going into inorganic quotient so in your coordination chemistry which covers at least of 40 percent of your syllabus for your um, uh, inorganic chemistry topic you can see that it covers a lot of weightage uh, especially from the inorganic portion so you can ex easily expect around 9 to 10 marks from this particular topic organometallic uh, compounds is again one of the major portion and this also covers around 20 percent of your uh, whole syllabus so this is also going to give you around like you can expect around six to seven marks from here uh, talking about the next one that is main group element it's a big topic but it will not fetch you much marks it is just going to give you five to six marks from this okay so in inorganic chemistry if you just prepare these three topics uh, you can easily score around 20 marks from these three okay coming from uh, the next topic which is lanthanides and actinides so question can be asked or it cannot be asked although it was not asked in 2019 but i am expecting that in 2020 this time gate they will ask a question from lanthanide and actinide same goes for radioactivity it, it's not uh, frequently asked in 2019 it was asked maybe this time also they'll ask one marker question from here talking about a bioorganic chemistry this is something from where earlier there were no questions but now they have started asking question one or two marker match the following or a question in such a way can be asked from bioorganic chemistry as well okay so uh, here your inorganic chemistry ends now talking about your instrumental methods that comes under your analytical chemistry um, from here I suspect that one question can be asked for one marker or two marker based upon your TGA method or uh, maybe some of your uh, titrating method okay so maybe your amperometric or uh, your um, conductometric kind of titration kind of questions uh, so they can be asked from from the instrumental methods all right so coming to the organic portion uh, from here 
people are very much confused because uh, many students don't study organic chemistry for CSI net exam for them I'll suggest you that see most of the scoring portion is if you just cover your pericyclic reaction and then if you cover spectroscopy and if you cover your stereochemistry okay if you cover these three parts so stereochemistry can be asked for four to five marks coming to pericyclic reaction it can easily be asked for four to five marks and spectroscopy again can be asked for eight to nine marks so if you add all of them you can easily fetch 15 marks from here so if you don't study reaction mechanism or organic synthesis then also you can you can go around 14 to 15 marks from here so 14 to 15 marks from here from physical chemistry complete physical chemistry will do so you can easily fetch around 25 to 30 marks from there and from inorganic chemistry again if you just do your coordination organometallic only these two topics so then also you can easily fetch around 20 marks so all in all all in all you are going to get around uh, you are going to attempt the question paper of around uh, 75 to 80 marks just by scoring some of the selected topics but uh, if you just uh, like if you if you have not prepared for reaction mechanism and organic synthesis i'll suggest you to read about some of the rea reagents so that you don't miss out question from rea uh, reaction mechanism at least you can attempt them and in that way you can attempt a question paper of around 80 marks okay so 80 marks question like in order to attempt a 80 marks question that's quite fine uh, I'm, I'm also include, including this reasoning part okay so you have to be good at reasoning part because this will fetch you 15 marks so reasoning contains your english and your some general aptitude questions and also uh, some of your fair mathematics question so gate uh, the reasoning asked in gate is quite different from your csr net so you have to be good at your mathematics you have to be good with the grammar also you have to be good with the data interpretation and all so that's how you can uh, fetch out marks so you can just see that which are more scoring topics and based upon that you can strategize your preparation and if you are neglecting some of the topics you can see in the list over here and uh, you have time right so you can include them in the preparation list at least you can do previous year's question just to get into the flow okay so that was whole motive of this particular video just to make you guys aware about uh, the topics from their question there are some question there are some topics uh, which i have not included in this list because uh, they were not as they, they were not being asked frequently but uh, there are some questions which are missed over here okay because i have not covered whole of your 2019 question paper so some of the topics are missed so don't consider it to be from the 100 marks um, i have missed like some of the topics have been missed okay so yeah that's a just a overview or just a way of uh, showing you guys that from where questions can be asked in your exam so you have time prepare for this and i'll be posting videos uh, with the conceptual questions that i have already started and next videos will be uploaded soon so thank you so much for watching that's all for this particular video guys i hope you guys un uh, understood and you guys like this analysis if you want to have if you want to add something or if you have any suggestion you can uh, give it down in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a like if you are new to this channel do subscribe this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye